Welcome. I left it on a cliffhanger because I'm going to get to the question on that because it's a fantastic fight scene. I've seen it. It's a fantastic film, Buckshot. You will be out of your seats. The action is phenomenal, but it's more than that. But firstly, um, let me introduce you to um, the cast and crew. Uh, Ranjit Esmawa, the director, um, uh, screenwriter and producer. Mark Strange, um, and he's no stranger to us, I'm sure. <laughs> um, James Bryan. David Lamont. You missed me sticking. And Nick Carter. Talk about Michael so what I want to do is, I want to um, ask, um, obviously, cast some questions, etc. I want to put it out to you, the audience as well at the end, so have a think and stuff. Um, I've got a microphone, so don't be shy, just because I've got a, a loud, um, whiny voice. You, you can have a microphone, you'll be good. Um, Manji, I want to come straight to you if I could. <coughs> That dystopian future that you've portrayed uh, is inspiring. What, what inspired you towards creating something like that? And what films inspired you as well? Because you can see that on the screen because it, it pops, you know, the DP, the lighting, the way it's like structured. It's, it's, it's brilliantly kind of um, the filmography of it all. So what inspired you to, to create this kind of world? Well, it wasn't movies so much. I mean, yeah, there is influence of movies, but my inspiration was actually from video games. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, I don't know if anybody's played that game. Um, the game itself is terrible, but the whole idea and concept of the game is amazing. And I would just like, what would Cyberpunk look like if it was a movie? And with what I have, what access to the things that I have available to me right now, could I make that? And is that a possibility? But not just make it like, you know, like an action thriller, but I wanted to incorporate some kind of if you want to call it raid style fight scenes. Um, and I was introduced to Mark, and I, Mark and I wanted to work together on another movie. Uh, but I thought it was probably best for Mark to take the lead you know, with his background as, a, as an action star, as a martial artist, and adapt the book and bring both worlds together, which is the sci fi, cyberpunk look, uh, along with where Mark comes from, which is the martial arts side of things. And um, so Cyberpunk was one, and definitely I think I had. Some inspiration from Blade Runner 2049 as well. Um, so I kind of just melted them all together and just made rupture. That's it's uh, wonderful. I thought it was good. So I want to get to the action that I do because this is an action film, but there's more to it than the action as well. Yeah. So um, definitely has some, I would say, dramatic beats yeah. within the script. Was it something you were conscious about bringing kind of some heart and soul um, to the story alongside the action? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, we've seen a lot of action movies which are just like 99% action movies, and like, you know, there's no story to it. I kind of wanted to break that mold, tell a story, tell something. It wasn't just like, it was, it was a love story essentially between a man and, and his wife, and you know, a lot of the gray area in between, and things that take place. The man trying to do things, what he thinks are good, but it's never good in somebody else's eyes. And, that then in turn makes that person colder and then going down again the wrong path. So um, so there was that story side to it, but then obviously the bits or ways carrying out whatever motion he's doing is inspired by all of the martial arts side of stuff. And, and let's, let's get on to the action. Mark, um, well, firstly, what a cool name. Raven Black. I mean, that is awesome. Isn't yeah, it? if you're gonna have a futuristic guy, that's a yeah. that's a pretty cool name. I'd be yeah. quite happy with that. So, what drew you to the project initially? Well, uh, kind of, uh, you know, um, I got uh, got in touch. I got I, I got put forward by a friend of mine, uh, Taranji, and uh, that's how we kind of met. And uh, we, uh, yeah, he told me all about it, and it sounded pretty awesome. And it was great to be uh, part of it. You know. Um, and you know me, I love anything that, you know, has violence in it. <laughs> you know, this has a, a lot of that in it, so, um, and it was kind of, uh, but it was cool as well, the character was very uh, troubled and, and, you know, I, uh, I hope I brought everything to the table that you wanted, my friend. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. 
Yeah, and, and, and I think that's about this and stuff. We talk about action films, but mm. like I say, taking those dramatic beats that you've got, you've got some, you've got the real bandwidth within the film to actually give some real kudos to your acting capabilities. And well, who knows, you've seen me lots of other things and stuff, but it's nice to, to get to see that side of you as well. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure, you know, ladies and men, the gentlemen as well, will love the fact that you got your shirt off again. Which is fine. Uh, well, I was allowed to do that. I was actually looking at that, and I was probably in the worst shape <laughs> I've ever been in. Yeah, so that's. But it kind of works for the character, you know. He's yeah. a Darren House, he's prison, you know. So, so it's kind of uh, obviously I wasn't bench pressing in prison, you know. <laughs> I was, I was planning my strategy to uh, come back to get these guys, you know. Let's 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 talk about that, Nick, if I may. Um, Nick the Blade Khan, we'll come on to that in a minute. I, I think the close quarters fight, we saw a clip of it there, it's probably my favourite fight of the film. A couple of reasons, that Carly inspired martial arts I think that you had going on, and obviously the, the cookery, probably the knives, the, the kind of Gurkha knives, but in that small space, it's like really, looked really challenging to do. Was that a, an action set piece that took time to do and work out? Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, honestly, I've been working obviously various projects and nobody would be given like morning rehearsal, evening shoot. That's not that's not obviously ideal, but that but that's how the real world works unless you're working on a huge franchise. So for me, sort of because I think about violence all the time, just like Mark <laughs> and on what work and I'm just thinking about how to kill people quickly, efficiently. Um, you know, so obviously, obviously, obviously it helps. <laughs> Um, there's a pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got questions to ask. <laughs> but I mean, the, the whole thing was because because that's my background. I'm not an actor at the moment, but I'm trying to obviously transition through that. But the main thing was, what can I make work with, with Mark? So I work with people like uh, Mark's Road. I mean, I've worked with a lot of guys in Thailand, so I have, so I have the ability to work. A lot of people also learn that not everyone can do the same stuff. So the problem is, I don't want everyone to do a jab, cross, kick, or elbow, but I could just make someone to work with, with 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 obviously what they have. But with Mark, he's been doing this long before obviously I came into the scene, so for him it was easy. But what obviously what we were to do was not to copy someone, but actually take a lot of stuff. So the cookery inspiration was taken from the British Army because I'm still active um, in the British Army. So obviously working with people and actually seeing how different sort of infantry, infantry soldiers were, I was like, I actually like that. Now it has been used on previous films, but I wanted to go with the two. Uh, versus empty hand and then empty hand versus one. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't. Time is always against us. Uh, there's a lot of issues and challenges on our film sets, but uh, obviously, as a fight guy, as a fight choreographer, we just learned to just suck it up. Um, so, yeah, it was challenging, but it wasn't challenging for me and Mark per se. It was more trying to get the camera angles with the time, with the location managers, and kind of just working. But I think for what we had, and considering that Mark, Mark uh, you know, how did we take the rehearse in New Manchester? About two, three hours, was it? Um, yeah, it was a couple, couple of hours. A couple of hours, yeah. yeah, okay, that's it. And then obviously I was working away teaching seminars, and then obviously as soon as I got back, then she came in on set, and we just got in. And then, it's, and then, and then there was a lot of on-the-spot changes mm -hmm. that we had to make, because of the walls, location, what looks good. Um, if we had maybe a whole day, I definitely think we could have obviously amplified it. But with what we have, you know, I think it's okay. Well, it's, it's, it's more than okay. I don't think you need to amplify anything about it. It's perfect in how you describe it, and kudos to both of you as professionals to come up with that in that short space of time, obviously, in real life. But wait until you see it on screen, it, is, it will pop, it amplifies now, and when you see it, you're gonna, it's going to be one of the standout things you're going to see on screen. It's fantastic. James, let me drag you in, because I know you're the quiet one from the bunch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not the one. <laughs> no, no, there was a hint of sarcasm in that book, so. I mean, your character at times uh, look menacing. Uh, it was a great shot there. It was one of my favourite stuff, and the blood just in your mouth and stuff. It looks at the camera, and you're like, okay, well, what's going on with this guy? Um, I think, how much did you work on the character, the one eye Stanford? You know, did you I'll put your own stamp on it? You know, how much did you put into that character to create who he was? Because he's great on screen. Like, uh, I'm great. Um, the thing is with characters like Sanford, yeah. um, they could be considered bad guys. But from my point of view, whatever I do is an evil. It isn't bad, it isn't wrong, it's for my benefit, for me to earn my money. So I, I do what I have to do. Um, so the inspiration for that uh, character comes from uh, people like Ted Bondi, 
um, Wayne Gacy. Uh, <laughs> to be clear, yes. when I said the question, I wanted to think it was inspired by you personally, James, but I know you're not the guy. <laughs> but you drew on something to bring yeah. it out on screen, absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, well, those topic characters, I, I drew on them because of the, the viciousness in their nature. Yeah. Um, because there's, going, there, there's, there's moments in the film where you actually see that side of you come out, but there's moments where you see he's a, a, you know, a charming, well, it's almost sociopathic in the way that, that he's charming and gets along with people, and he's got this ability to draw people in before he messes them up, um, but it's, it's a very, he's a, he's a very interesting character because he's not like your, your normal standard bad guy, he's not just going in there and just going, ha ha ha, I'm going to do all this. Um, he has a plan and it's, it's, it's about power, but it's, it's, it's more the show of that power than actually having that power. There's, there's definitely layers to the character. Yeah. There's more and less what I mean. About the film and stuff you just seen, but there's another action film I have watch and there's more to that, dramatic beats. There's layers to the character. You're trying to find out more about the character you go on and you discover it as the film goes on. It isn't like, he's a god out, he's a bad guy. There's different aspects to that character, and that draws you into the film. Yeah, well, the, it's like the relationship between yeah. my character and Mark's character. Um, I won't go into it too much, um, but it's almost like um, like a, a, a brotherhood, mm. and it's it's how they deal with that fallout of it afterwards, and and, and it, it, it's almost like a love story, if you like. Because you know, their characters have been through a lot, so it's, it, it's, it's, it's almost like that one would trust. Maybe when you hear people say, "Oh, I trust you," you know, to, to not rob me, I trust you not to do certain things to me. The trust that these characters had was the trust that you would never hurt me. And then it, it, it's the blowout from what happens after that, and, and it's it, it, it's definitely a, a lot different to when you see. Um, Vengeance movies or, or, or horror movies or, or, or movies where it's just bad guy versus bad guy. This has got a combination of quite a lot of things that we wouldn't normally see. It's, it's a killer of a movie. It's a pleasure to work alongside Mark. I love flags. This is why I love flags. David, I love um, David, I like the smoke, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna you're gonna get a real kick out of this character. <laughs> I certainly <laughs> did. Um, Slightly crazy, slightly unhinged. That's the character smoke. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I, mean, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was playing myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, I mean, I think as they say, really, I'm going to answer the question, but was it a fun role to develop and portray? It was absolutely amazing, yeah. It's probably the most fun that I've had with a character. And what I wanted to do with it, because it's uh, an action film, I wanted to take inspiration for what I consider to be the golden era of cinema, which is the 1970s, when you had amazing characters like Randall McMurphy in One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest and Dustin Hoffman in That Cowboy, and these proper characters, do you know what I mean? You've they, got so much depth and so much, you know, you never know which way they're going to turn, and that's what I wanted to do, and like blend that into this type of movie, and you know, and I hope I've done a good job, Ranchi. That's what you're on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're on the screen. That's fun. That's, that's confidence from your director there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, it, was, it was an amazing shoot, and these guys are just so cool to work with. It just ran like clockwork, didn't it? Um, yeah, so. The you know, I'm sorry, I'm here, so then I've had the privilege to see the film, and it's fantastic, like I say, for the action, dramatic bits and stuff. And Smoke is a prominent character there, and he does drive the story. He said, Don't take anything away from me, so I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy, I'd just like to say Birmingham born and bred, thank you, one of our own, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Well, you got the crowd going there. You know, it's it's <laughs> very fun. Anyway. Um, was it a conscious decision to film some of it in Birmingham? Obviously, you can see yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, just, yeah. <coughs> filming in Birmingham, is, you know, it's easier because it's your hometown. You have access to everything and everyone. And I think part of that was kind of inspired by Gareth Evans, who just loved to shoot in college all the time. So for me, it was like, well, oh, fuck it, and I'm just going to shoot at home. <laughs> right? I could go home, go to sleep, and then we'll have to stay in a hotel. <laughs> so, so, um, so yeah, I mean, that was, I mean, because like, because I know Birmingham so well, and. I know every corner, I know everybody, 
I know the council very well, so they helped a lot. And um, James, I worked with over the last 10, 12 years. It was easy for me to bring him in because I know. <laughs> like, James is, I'm not saying because yeah, James is like my muse favorite film. I bring him in, I'm like, where can I put James in? Right? <laughs> and, um, and so. <laughs> I retract that comment. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, so yeah, it was just easy for me to bring everybody in. I mean, like, like me, David, and James, we've known each other for a long time. Mark have just recently been introduced over the last two years. I was the outsider. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I was one of the brothers. And yeah. I had to but that's why he's on the end. <laughs> um, so it was easy for me to just bring this team together, bring the crew together, and just film in my hometown and just be like, look, we can put Birmingham on the map and, you know, not make it look like Birmingham. I mean, there are a few landmarks, as you know, which is like um, the Arcadian and a few places like that. So I was like, let's take some of those places around Birmingham, let's, let's change them up. And you know, let's just make it our own and make it like a futuristic cyberpunk looking movie and hopefully that's what I've done. Yeah, definitely, definitely.